this particular video we're going to be looking at something called completing the square and very typically you get a question something like this it'll say write in the form x plus p squared plus q and you've got a quadratic equation okay there is a method of doing this it's fairly straightforward and really all we're doing is we're rearranging this in a slightly different form. So we're not actually changing any of the values here. What we're doing is moving them around a little bit. And the method is, is to take the first two terms and basically write them like that, where what I've done is I've halved this number to make it three, and then we square it. So at the moment, we've got that. Now, if I actually work that out, I'm going to end up with x plus 3 times x plus 3, and that's going to give me x squared plus 6x plus 9. If you're not sure about any of those things, please do have a look at some of the other videos on um, expanding quadratic equations. But effectively, what I've got now is x squared plus 6x, which is exactly the same as that. The problem is I've got this plus 9 to deal with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minus 9, OK, and that effectively means that this, when I work it out, is going to look the same as those two uh, terms here. And then the final thing I've got to do is I've got that minus four. So if I take minus four at the end of it, it's then just a case of tidying this up. So I can write this as x plus three squared minus nine minus four is minus 13. And actually, that's the answer to the question. OK, I hope that's all right for you. There are a few more examples in this particular playlist. Please do have a look. If you're not sure about anything, add a comment below. I'll always come back to you. Uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.